Hi, it's Atharil here, and today we are back with our Crusader Kings 2 Warhammer mod in our Shattered Empire series, where we're playing, obviously, as the Skinster family of the Middenheim in the Empire. And so, obviously, here you can see that we are at the point where, obviously, Peter the Second of Tauben has actually become a uh, full adult, so we're just trying to get him all set up and everything. He has managed to get a bride as well. She isn't really going to get us any, unfortunately, any sort of new titles and things like that, chances are, but, you know, she is still going to be able to hopefully, you know, be able to expand the family and things like that. We're obviously starting with a lot more years than our father did to be able to get children and everything, so hopefully should be a case that we'll actually be able to get quite a decent number of people. Um, like children and things like that, hopefully a good few sons and things like that to be able to actually expand our family. Now, also as well, you can see here we are obviously in quite a good place in the actual Middenland. We are actually, you know, we're in quite a large portion of the southern area. We do have ourselves over the over whole duchy, which is more than a lot. So we are in a pretty, you know, strong place. So first thing that Peter is going to do is he's just going to decide that it's time to get rid of some of the old potentially and start looking at getting in some new blood into his actual council and things like that. Let's check to see whether there's anybody else that we can actually bring in. We're going to designate our wife's our regent. Probably not the best thing, but it certainly does just, you know, keep her a little bit happy, which is obviously what we want there. You can see here as well that because we are not at a big size yet or in anything in our vassals, you know, they're not very important people and things like that in the empire as a whole. Thankfully, we're not really going to have to deal with any civil wars or anything like that just yet which is obviously quite a good situation to be in to obviously start off as so that's one of the things that can really mess things up. We're also as well going to reduce our vassal limit and create sort of a slightly more centralized government for our lands. The reason being literally is just to increase our own lands that we can control through our own direct administration. It's something that obviously we want to do at the minute to be able to try and control as much land as possible without having to give it up to more vassals who could potentially claim power from us and things like that obviously as I am going to be following in the footsteps of the Empire and actually having this as an elective monarchy. The main reason, obviously, is so that we can obviously choose our heir for the best one and things. And obviously, you know, the more vassals that we have, the more people that are actually allowed to vote in who that monarch is actually going to be, which could potentially lose, lose us the seat of the actual Duchy of Taubum, which obviously is not something that we can allow. And so here, just going around sort of trying to sort of um, actually get rid of our, um, sorry, um, get marital ties here for our sort of, um, sisters. You see here, we have managed to manage to get an actual ally in the actual um, Emperor of Midland themselves by and still get a matrimonial marriage, which means obviously that they are going to be coming to our family, which puts us in an excellent, excellent opportunity to where we may actually be able to look at increasing the chances of us being able to claim the seat. And so definitely a very good position to be in but you know we'll obviously have to hope that that all goes for the best obviously we would like to take the rest of Tauben as that girl there obviously is actually able to going to be able to vote in our lands and things like that which is obviously not a situation that we want to be in or anything like that obviously so we're just going to sort of let everything sort of tick over though a little bit and obviously let Peter get into a decent position obviously he does have a decent bit of money coming in so he can actually be able to build things as you can see there he has managed to get the first stage of his gunnery school managing to build the Empire's special units, which is definitely a good place for us to be in. The more of them we can get, obviously, they're going to do some real damage in battles and things like that. So, obviously, something that we really, really do want to have as many of those. And so there, relatively easy, we do manage to get a claim on this land. However, we do discover something which is more than a little bit unfortunate, that our emperor has because he's now no longer under a regency and things himself we are actually in a case where we are going to be you know um, able to actually not declare war and be able to expand our lands internally which is not a great situation to be in to say the least and so we are going to actually decide to join the faction to hopefully and um, well we created the faction to lower the um, crown authority in the imperial middle land that's something that we'd obviously have to look at getting some people in and also as well we are going to join the elective succession in middle land reason being is that for that one obviously we can 
can then potentially, you know, vote ourselves in, which would obviously be quite good and be a very, very good way to be hopefully able to expand our kingdom very, very quickly and basically be able to take control of the whole of this land and remove it away from the family that it is currently belonging to. How well that will go, obviously, remains to be seen, but we shall take it from here and sort of see how it all goes. And also there, you can see that we are actually going to be looking at going on a pilgrimage to some of the holy sites for our religion. I think it's something that our Duke should really be looking at doing and um, pretty regularly and so well not maybe not regularly but at least once in their life is certainly something that they should look at doing and so here we're just trying to look through trying to decide what to do and uh, there we go we have managed to have a daughter so we now do have an heir from our direct line very good situation for us to be in and there you go we have headed off onto our pilgrimage and this is where I obviously realize the fault of setting our wife as regent is that basically she cannot actually look after all the lands herself but you know we're just gonna sort of continue through we managed to actually make it to the capital city of Minheim to go and see some like the temples and things like that that are there really and obviously just generally have hopefully quite a good experience from it there for and um, Peter and so it does come back it is a case he has really enjoyed that and you can see why people go on pilgrimages which will then therefore hopefully boost his pr his um, piety and increase his war score so that technically he's going to be a better ruler because of, or at least a more remembered ruler which is something that is not a bad thing and there you go see as well that when he has come back with all of his new find piety he does manage to fall in love with his wife however unfortunately it is a case that its um, sister was actually going to technically be the one taking control of the Tauben duchy so we managed to then throw our name in the hat of what we believe who we believe it is and it is actually our daughter we are going to declare as our successor and obviously because even though obviously it's one one and one for all the various different options for the actual succession because we are the actual main one you know we are the person that does ultimately actually get the title and we are the ones that sort of get the sort of saying vote when there are things are even which means that our actual lineage or our branch of the family is going to be pretty much safe now so long as obviously at the very least one of our potential children can get to actual full adulthood which is hopefully more than a little bit likely and although we'll, uh, we'll obviously have to see how that goes as we do progress and pretty much just kind of hope for the best for that one and so we'll also just mention obviously as you can probably guess I am putting obviously these videos out pretty regularly for you pretty much every day I'm aiming for so do of course be sure to subscribe for all the new videos see how obviously the Skinster family does go and hopefully they will be able to expand and obviously any suggestions that you do have do of course be sure to leave in the comments below and I'm happy to take them on board and so just going back though to the actual game here, we're just sort of letting everything tick over. There's not really anything majorly that we want to do. We are sort of hoping that the actual um, factions themselves that we are part of will become over sort of 100% enough to be a general sort of um, something of a general, a genuine threat to Midland and something that the um, Emperor will acquiesce to. And so there we go, our wife has actually come pregnant again, so we're in a very good place in that one. Hopefully this one will manage to be a son, and therefore we will lose any minuses from our vassals for obviously having a female heir. And then our line will definitely certainly be able to be secured, as we'll be able to obviously, he will be able to very easily marry in terms of bringing somebody into our actual family, rather than having to try and find somebody who maybe isn't as high station and would be sort of unwilling to actually... Um, sort of come over to our family or would be so useless that there's not really much point but you know hopefully it won't come to that and we'll see you can see us as well have sent off our actual um guy who develops obviously the claims and everything sent him off to another land so we can hopefully if we are able to create the elected monarchy oh sorry if we're not able to create the elected monarchy we can reduce the crown authority and then at the very least we will be able to start attacking these two smaller counts and that and so there, and so my sister has apparently de um, tried to create a plot to kill me. So 
Normally, we would imprison her and pretty much cut off her head for that. However, she is still somebody that is useful. She does still need to send out children to be able to actually, you know, probably a son or a couple extra children to be able to sort of obviously expand the family. So we will just demand that she stops it and there, which I'm, but uh, our Peter actually does have a son. He has now fulfilled that ambition. And so he's going to pick a new one to a massive wealth. And so now our heir is Peter. So we are going to nominate him as the hopeful actual um, successor to us. Unfortunately, though, it is a case that the other, um, the Count of Shieldwald, has managed to get two votes for himself to be able to actually, you know, um, sort of, uh, he's actually got two votes to be able to become the next Duke of the Land, which, while it would keep it in the Skinster family, is not something that we are going to be willing to allow that one, that's for sure. And so we are going to have to look at redressing that situation in very quickly and hopefully get this woman here obviously that is one of the other counts to basically be able to vote in our favor so we send her a gift of quite a bit of money and so hopefully that will make her a little bit more willing to actually consider our vote we'll do the same with the other one thankfully as we do have quite a good bit of money that we can spend on doing this at the same time, Koso, the actual um, leader of the faction to create an elective monarchy, did declare send, send the demands which the emperor has. Unfortunately, he has turned down, and so there is a civil war, which then does mean that this um, is going to probably get a little bit more interesting, to say the least. And hopefully, you know, we were 170. 175% or so and hopefully we will be able to actually get that however unfortunately which happened but they do manage to strike first before all of our armies are able to unify and basically crush our rebellion pretty quickly so we're in a not great state we now have the largest army for the rebellion and unfortunately it is a case that the other army we, that they did have was pretty much decimated that is not a good situation for us to be in. I think it's safe to say, as you can see, minus 65% war score. We have actually probably lost this war unless we are able to actually get this army to be defeat. You know, we are able to actually defeat their army. When obviously we march off to war and we hear that in the field that our wife is again pregnant with our third child. And so, oh, there we go, my spy master has unfortunately passed away, so we're going to have to bring in another one, I think. We're going to send them to Middenheim to study the technology there. I think it's safe to say that they are, you know, not going to be um, suspicious or anything like that, as we are obviously, we come from Middenland, it would make sense that we would have a representative in Middenheim, is what I'd like to think, and the reason why there is no problem obviously being able to send them in, it's very unlikely they're going to notice us. And so, oh, there we go, we unfortunately do lose our actual rebellion, and Peter Skinster II is actually enslaved. We could ask for our ransom to be paid, or we could ask to pay ransom, unfortunately. We do not, unfortunately, actually have the money because of those gifts that we did decide to send to be able to ensure that we were the one that would be able to get the signing vote. So, not brilliant there. And so, just to check that, just realise as well that it wasn't actually my son, it was actually my sister who obviously has, you know, not got any lands or anything like that. It is actually her and her husband who have managed to claim and get a son and we have actually managed to get another daughter so we have two daughters and a son so we have three children to be able to expand our family again i think it's safe we're going to to try and get as big a family as possible here to be able to you know get them lots of titles and things like that that we can hopefully be able to pass out among them and ensure that the skinster family is the ruling majority in midland which will obviously give all of our vassals obviously if they are from the same family that will give them a small boost as there is obviously family ties there and so we are now basically having to spend time in the prison of Middenheim. We are pretty much just being left there to rot, unfortunately, while we, our actual lands, desperately try to save up some money to be able to actually bring it to a point where we can, you know, um, buy back our freedom, hopefully, from the Emperor. Hopefully he isn't too rich and will actually be willing to accept the 160-odd or so gold that will allow us to do that. 
um, allow us to get our freedom. Unfortunately though, it's safe to say that prison does not suit Peter and he's starting to become malnourished and so hopefully, who knows, that might not go so well. I think it's safe to say that he is, you know, not having the most pleasant few years of his life that he could be and unfortunately, you know, he is steadily sort of starting to waste away in the prison. And I, so therefore, he is going to attempt to make a request, hope that his liege is actually going to be somebody who is reasonable and will give him, you know, accommodations suiting his station. When, thankfully, it goes better than could have ever been hoped and it is actually a case that his liege does decide to free Peter. So, we're going to leave it there. I think it's as good a place as any with his freedom finally attained. So, thank you very much for watching. I've obviously been a Tharl here at EGN. Hope you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe for more videos next time.